Hello and welcome. I am Raghav and today we are going to see how we can put our project or add our project to version control system that is git and then we will learn how we can clone our project from a git repository in Jenkins and then use that cloned project to run our Gatling tests. This is going to be very easy and very interesting and this is going to be a continuation from the earlier session where we have set up Jenkins and we have added the Jenkins job and we are now running our Gatling tests from Jenkins. So if I very quickly show you this is our Jenkins and this is the job we have created and in this job we have uh, added some commands in the build section. So if I go to the configure you can see in the build section uh, we have this invoke top level maven targets we also added the Gatling plugin so all this we have done in the last session and just in case you have not watched the last session you can watch that first and now within this session we will set our uh, project with a version control system that is git so the first thing is we will create a repository and you can use github.com or any other uh, git repository like uh, bitbucket etc so i will go to github.com and you can create a free account on github.com if you do not have it and then log into your account in my case i already have an account and i have logged in now i will create a new repository you can click on this new button here or you can go to this drop down and say new repository i'll just go here or let me just say new repository from here and i will say you can give any name i'll say getlink demo project and then you can give some description I will keep it public and we can add .kitignore file as well but as of now I will just say create repository so it will create the repository and here this is the location or this is the link to our repository we can go to the repository from this link as well so as of now this is a empty repository so we have done step number one and we have already created a repository on github.com that is step number two now we will add our project on git and then we will upload our project on this github repository so for that first we will uh, add our project to git and for that so this is our project so this is the project that we have been working on in the last session and to add this project on git i will first have git on my system so if i go to my command prompt and say git space hyphen hyphen version this will show me the git version so i already have git installed just in case you do not have git on your system you can go to uh, git scm download or you can just search for git download it will take you to this git scm.com downloads and here you can download and install git i also have a session if you search for git and github uh, hands-on demo if you search by, by name my name you will get this video git and github hands-on training so you can also watch this just in case uh, you want to see all the detailed steps so once you have git you can check that git is installed on your system by running the command git space hyphen hyphen version and after this i will add my project to git so i will manually go to my project folder on the system so this is my project gatling demo project i will open this here this is my project folder gatling demo project now i will do a right click and say git bash here and this option you will get only after you have added and installed git on your system now i can run these commands from a normal command line or terminal as well I can open a command prompt and go to this project folder location and then run all the commands that I'm going to do it now. But with git bash, we get, uh, we get this color coding and it is a little, little bit easier here. So that's fine. I will continue with git bash. Now, the first thing I will say is git init and this will create a hidden dot git folder in the project folder and that means our folder or our project folder is now being tracked by git now if i say git status you can see it says none of these project folders or files are being tracked by git so uh, we have not staged any any of our changes all these are untracked so first i will have to stage all these 
changes by saying git add but before I do that uh, I do not want to push some of the files or folders for example this target folder it has all our uh, result files or report files I do not want to make my repository bulky so I, do, I want to ignore this I also don't want to uh, send the dot idea folder it has some settings and I don't want to push it to the repository so for that I can create a dot git ignore file so I can just say touch dot git ignore and you can see it is created here and I can just go here and I can open in a notepad or I can just go to my project and you can see it has come here as well and here in this file I will mention what all I want to ignore so let us say the target folder I don't want uh, dot idea folder I don't want and whatever you don't want to push to the remote repository you can mention it here one other option is you can just go to git ignore dot io and mention your uh, project details for example mine is maven project and uh, it has form.xml or I'll just say it, ha it is on IntelliJ and say create so it will create a example dot git ignore file and you can see you can check all this you can add you can just copy this or whatever you want to take from here you can add it so you can see all the dot idea folder details are here and if you check the target you can see the target is also here all these maven details are here so you can also copy from here so as of now I will just uh, add this and now if I go back and say git status you can now see now we are not getting our target or dot idea files so we are still getting src pom.xml and dot git ignore which is fine so now I will say to stage these changes I will say git add and I will say dot that means all the unstaged changes or files will get staged and now if I say git status you can see all these are staged now I will do a commit I will say git commit and I will say minus m to git give some commit message and even before I do that I can add my repository which is my github repository I will say git remote add origin and I will say I will paste this link to my repository and hit enter and now I will say git commit minus m and give some message I will say my first commit and these are now committed if I say git status you can see everything is committed if I say git log it will show me all the logs so this is now done now I will say git push minus u origin origin means our repository you can also give your repository link here instead of origin but because we have already set the origin I can say git push minus u origin and the branch name which is master so as of now if I go and refresh my repository on github you can see it is still empty nothing is there but after I run this git push minus u origin master our project will get pushed on the repository so this is done if I now refresh my repository you can see all this is added here my first commit and if I see src test this is all my tests and files are here so all this have uh, all this is here so we have put our project on git now I can go to my Jenkins job and then there I can give my repository address so this is my repository here I can copy the URL from here and then go to my Jenkins job so this is my job here and I will go to the configure section and I will go to the source code management and here we have git now just in case you do not find this git option you can always add the git plugin and then you will find it here so you can go to your manage plugins so let me show you you can go to manage Jenkins and then go to manage 
plugins here and here now in my case it is already installed so I will show you in the installed section so you can see if I click on git so this git plugin is already installed in case you do not find the git option you will find this plugin in the available section and then you can add it to Jenkins so I will go back to my job and go to the source code management git and I will give the repository URL and in case you have to add the credentials you can also add that as well here and then if I now go to the build section uh, I am running this Gatling test but now because it will be cloning this project from this repository and I will also have to provide the location where I will I want to have my cloned project otherwise it will go in the default location of my Jenkins folder so I will go to this general section advanced in the last session I had given this folder location where I already have my project but now I will give a different location where which will be a new empty folder where it will clone my project and then run the commands on that particular project so if I just go I will go here or let me just go to my dashboard or uh, my desktop and create a new folder here I will just say Gatling project and I will copy this location and this is what I will give here and I will say apply and save and now if I click on build now first it will clone the project so if I check the console output you can see here it will first clone this project from here and then it will start the commands also if I now check my project folder you can see it has cloned the project and now it is running the command so it is now starting the basic simulation and then it will start the next simulation script and you can see all this is running on our new project which is being cloned from github so it is cloning first cloning it and then it is running these commands okay so if I check you can see this is done and if I go back to my project you can also see the mean response time trend and this plugin we had already added in the last session so all this is working fine and now you can see we are not dependent on our local project or our local folder so Jenkins will now always get the changes and everything from this repository from this repository and it will then run all the commands that we are running here so now we are no longer dependent on our local project folder this Jenkins can be running on any any remote system any Linux server anywhere it will just get our project from this repository and then it will run the command so this is how we can integrate Jenkins and Git and we can run our project and we have already run read and validated I hope this session was very useful for you if you have any questions or any doubts you can let me know and I will try to answer you as soon as I can I will see you in the next session thank you for watching and never stop learning